Okay, so quiz 11 is to use the mesh current uh, method. Now in the mesh current method, we remember the idea is we're gonna label currents in these meshes, okay? IA, IB, IC, and then we sum the voltages around each of the meshes. Um, so uh, realizing that the current that actually flows through this uh, resistor is gonna be I1 minus, or I'm sorry, IA minus IC. All right, so um, what we're going to do is uh, the, f the first thing is let's let's sum all of the voltages around this node. So coming up here, we'll have a minus 30 plus 2 times IA minus IC because the current's going in this direction, or we want the current going in that direction as we sum the voltages. Now we want the current going in that direction, so we want 24 times IA minus IB. So when we do Kirchhoff's uh, voltage law, we're going to have minus 30 plus 2 times IA minus IC, and then plus uh, 24 times IA minus IB, and that has to equal 0. Okay, so that's my uh, equation for IA. Now if we do it for IB, again, we're going to do 24 times IB minus IA plus 3 times IB minus IC plus 3 times IB. So let's just write that. We're going to have 24 times IB minus IA plus 3 times IB minus IC plus 3 times IB equal to zero. Okay, so that's the uh, the mesh current equation for this loop. And now if we do this loop, notice that we just get, um, I we already know what IC is. IC is equal to four amps. So we can just write um, IC equals four. And uh, now we can solve all of these uh, equations. Um, and uh, I guess we could we could just plug four in here, or we could, you know, I don't know. We can do IA, IB, IC. We know that IC is equal to four. That's that last equation. And then in this equation, we can we find everything that's IA. So we have two times IA plus 24. So this would be uh, 20, 26 times IA. And then there's a negative 24 IB, and then there's a minus 2 IC. So minus 24 IB, minus 2 IC, and then we need all of the constants to the other side. So the minus 30 would go over here, 30. Okay, and then this equation. Again, everything times IA, so we'll have a minus 24, and that's it. So minus 24, and then everything times IB, 24, plus 3, 27, plus 3 is 30. And then everything times IC, and the only IC is minus 3. Minus 3, and then we move all of the constants to the other side. And in this case, there are no constants, so we just get 0. All right, now we solve this expression, and we'll get IA, IB, IC. And then we come back up here. Um, so th this gives us IA, IB, and IC. And then we can come back up to this, uh, um, you know, look here and say, okay, what is I1? We know that I1 is equal to IA minus IC, right? It's going to be this current minus that mesh current. And then I2 is going to be this mesh current minus that mesh current. So IA minus IB. And I3 is going to be um, this, oh, it's going in that direction. So it's going to be this mesh current minus that mesh current. So IB, IB minus IC. Okay, so we would find uh, IA, IB, IC. And now we can find I1, I2, and I3. 
Oh, and there's I4. I4, in this case, I4 is just simply IB. So that gives us I4. Okay, and that's how to do um, this particular quiz.